jump into the very end. She wins. Yeah. But how awesome that Philippines is the longest ongoing streak of being in the top 20 placement. Oh, I didn't know that. I know that she, Catriona, Catriona is the fourth Miss Philippines to win the Miss Universe title. I didn't know that. That's interesting, the fourth. But two of them in, like, recent, yeah, right? Yeah, very recent. Pia and was just Miss the Universe. the longest ongoing streak of top 20 placements. Crazy. And South Africa. South Africa's been, like, kicking major butt at Miss Universe. But I loved her. I loved Philippines. But holy crap, when Philippines came out in that red dress, she was the only one that gave me chills. The only one. I was like, that, whoa. That dress was outstanding. I loved how it was, like, different shades of red. And it almost looked like it was on fire. I mean, it was insanity. And then the way that she walked, which I'll get into that in a second, because her final look walk was like, that's when I was like, girls, just rest of you, pick up the scraps. Because the crown is hers. Um, yeah. When, when we see them all standing together, it was silver, 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 and then red Philippines in the middle. And it's like, that's all you could look at. And this is at the point where Philippines, like, kicked it into high gear, got some, like, nitrous oxide, like, up her butt, and just, like, took off, like a freaking sports car. Yep. Uh, because, like, I felt like everyone else was left in the dust at this point. My eyes were just on her. Are you talking about the top five or when she answered her top three question? Well, standing in top five, after they answered, oh. she was getting ready to be called out. So yeah. it was, like, silver, 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 and then bright red in the middle. Right. So my eyes were just drawn to her. Of course. Then she got called out in top three, and then the way she answered her top three answer, I was like, ridiculous. I know, at that point, I was like, give her the crown, and it's over. But I didn't, you know, I, I'm glad that she um, she redeemed herself for me, because in the top five, she didn't do such a great job answering. She did, It was okay. It was an okay answer. Um, she could have really personalized that, though. Well, yeah. she actually, no, I'm sorry, in top five, she actually kind of contradicted herself. She, she did. said no on legalization, but that everything in moderation. Right. So, so I was, it was like, a little confusing. So... I didn't yeah. love it. It was okay. She did an okay. I mean, listen, you're at Miss Universe. You're freaking out. Like your entire country is in Thailand to go to watch you. It's a lot of pressure that I'm sure she was feeling. But I think once she was in the top three, completely redeemed herself. After she answered that question, I was like, and we're done. Yeah. It yeah. was. It was a no brainer at that point. Like, uh, and then final look, the walk, where they come walking out, she's the first one, I was like, I mean, I don't even think I breathed the whole time she walked down the runway, Yeah, it was just perfection, the way that slit went up her leg, the dress fit her perfectly, the earring, she, the, the ear the earring with the ear crawler that came up, so the way cool. that she would go between like laughter and then like sexy, and, and then at the end of the runway, the way she like hit her pose, I was like... I was just captivated. Yeah. And I don't care how amazing. I, I loved South Africa up until that point. Venezuela was stunning, but South Africa was like, this girl's going to win, this girl's going to I was like, I don't think any, anything, like baby Jesus could come out of heaven himself and walk the runway. And I'd still be like, I'm sorry, baby Jesus. It's got to be Miss Philippines. It has to be her. Yeah, this was her. It was definitely hers to win for sure. And I loved the final question. And I'm very excited to see what Catriona does. I love her name, Catriona. I can say it all day long. Yes, that's what we say it all the time, but Philippine fans are the best fans in the pageant world. They, they're, just so, they're just so supportive. So loyal. They're I was so actually helpful. watching I was watching the pageant in the lobby of my hotel, and the late, there's a bar at, in the lobby, and the, late, the girl that was behind the bar, she wasn't really the bartender, like, she was just back there. She works at the hotel. She's Filipino. So whenever the Philippines would walk, she'd be like, yes, girl, yes. <laughs> so it was so much fun to watch it with like a, another, with a Filipino like in the lobby with me. It was yeah. so much fun. They're just so loyal. Like Filipino fans are loyal. And congratulations to them.